All right, guys, you're live with MVI. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today we are in a 2015 Cadillac Escalade ESV. Um, today we're going to upgrade to the CarPlay um, system. So I'm going to walk you guys through that. Get some stuff turned down. As you can see on the screen here, we just have the regular nav. There's no projection icon. Um, so we're going to add that projection icon. So we then have the uh, CarPlay in Android Auto as well. So I'm going to get started taking things apart. Purpose of this video is just to kind of show you how this thing comes apart. So you can do this upgrade yourself. Um, we're going to get behind the glove box. We're going to get behind the screen. And we do have to remove this panel right here, which is where I'm going to start so we can take some paneling apart over here. So looks intimidating, but as you'll see, it comes apart, just kind of snaps apart. So I'll get started over here on this side. So to begin, <clears throat> pry tool, you see it's using it on all our videos. Take off this side dash panel. It's just going to snap right off. There is a T15 on the side over here, um, which I'll remove with a uh, just a uh, quarter inch ratchet on this guy. And then we're gonna have a couple T15s down here. So we'll just take this guy out. Because of the location of this guy, you gotta kinda ratchet it out, unfortunately. rest of this will go much quicker. We'll get this guy out of our way just like that. And then you're not gonna be able to see down here, but right here and right here are two T15s as well. One and two right here. From there, this guy will now, oh, I missed one. There's one right down in the corner, down here, which I'm gonna have to get with this guy as well. Just get it started. And out we go. Now, we should pop down. It's really strong clips, guys. You can kind of just set that out of your way, just like that. There's no need to really go any further. Next, I'm going to go work on the glove box area. So the glove box, obviously, we need to get it open. Pop her open there. I'm going to get some stuff out of our, our way here. And then we've got some, they're kind of hidden, but one, two, and then three, four T15s. Um, down here, so I'll go ahead and zap these out. Again guys, we're live, so this is gonna be real time. Give you an idea how long it takes to do this. This one here, because I've done these enough, I will tell you it can be a little bit of a bear to get to. Need to kind of make sure it doesn't fall down into this panel there, or you'll be taking that off. But now, just do that. I know it's a little scary, but don't stress it. Connector there, this glove box comes right out. Set it aside. That exposes our HMI, which we're gonna swap. 
Again, this will come all pre-programmed, so what you want to do here, this HMI is held in there by some release clips on each side. Easiest way to release that, don't unplug these. Take, use your harness. You can see that just came down loose. I just took it free from the release clips. I'm just going to unplug one by one. All right. This one can be a little bit of a bear to get off. These clips can just be difficult. So sometimes it will require the use of a pick on the back side. These clips just uh, can be very tight, basically. So, got it pressed down there. I'm gonna use the pick on the back side to kind of help pull it off of the connector. So, be careful with that, guys. Don't get impatient. If you break this, you're in trouble. So, this is a delicate cable. This guy now just slides right out out of the way label needs to be facing towards you towards the metal tube if you get this wrong you're gonna track incorrectly new HMI will slide right back up clicks right in you hear the little clicks and that part is done this glove box can go back in I'm not gonna do that just yet I'm gonna keep moving forward on the install this guy right here comes off next. Again, pry tool. You see us using this all the time. Just snaps right out. Same with over here. Okay, get it out of your way. These guys come off next. Actually, I am going to pop the side panel off, I believe, if I remember correctly. Okay, let's get it out of your way. Don't really have to take it all the way out, but I like to. As you can see, they're just tight snap clips. Right tool, out of your way. Main thing to remember here, guys, is keep the ignition off. Do not do not turn it on while you're doing this. Bad idea. So, with that said, gotta get this guy right here off, this little trim piece right here. Once again, pry tool. Okay. It's gonna let us now take this piece off. Let me see how quickly the Escalade just comes apart. Looks intimidating. Again, guys, just snaps apart. Get these guys out of your way. That just opened up our seven mils. 
I'm gonna remove these. The screen's now gonna come out. So now we're working with seven millimeters. And I should have brought a flashlight out and I did. But again, guys, these are up in there tight. So make sure if you drop these down in the dash, you're not gonna have a whole lot of fun trying to fish them out. So I recommend taking your time. use a magnet as well those telescopic magnets you can pick them up at the art store five six seven bucks pretty cheap they come in handy now comes out Unplug your connectors. One by one, get them out of the way. I can't see that one. This one down here, I'll warn you, takes a couple picks. There's a notch on the upper. And the lower to get that out. So a little bit of finesse, we'll get that out. And I'm just gonna set this on the ground right now out of the way. We do need to access the radio to swap for this upgrade. Again, same Fakker connectors you gotta be careful of. Now I'm gonna note right here, if you're doing our, uh, our add-on nav bypass, the plug-in, this is the module that you're accessing. And you're gonna work with this connector right here. So if all we were doing was the nav bypass, my harness is gonna plug in there. This is gonna plug back into my harness. And then you just zip tie the module or you could even double stick tape it. Just kind of bury it down in here out of the way. Um, and then you'd be going back together at this point. But since we are swapping this for the CarPlay upgrade. Okay, that one came off nice and easy. This is just held in here buy these clips on the side so we're just going to carefully do that number there set that up
everything's got a place. I think those are the seven, the T fifteen. Just like that. So at this point, I'm gonna put our trim panel back on, and we've got a USB port to swap, which I'll go show you here in a second. See, we're nice and flush there. I'll make sure and plug that guy back in. I'll put that together here in just a second. So. Just like that. I've got a clip here I'm gonna have to dig out before I snap that other panel on and we're gonna pop this USB out next. However, I did not bring out the USB, so I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Alright guys, so the kit will come with a new USB port. Lowe's is your friend four pack of these guys like 10 12 bucks something like that go in on the side and then right here that's how easy this comes out is required guys gotta replace it you do lose the SD GM took it away in 2016 when they did the car play no way around it gotta have it so from there with any luck projection so as you know carplay android auto you got to plug in we've got an apple phone here first time you do it it's going to ask you some questions typically so continue on i need to allow and as you can see i'm now on would you like me to read your messages? CarPlay. So, just like that, guys, start to finish. Um, I'm not sure what time we have here, but I think we got maybe uh, 40 minutes wrapped up in this. I've got some panels to, to put back on. Um, but as you can see, no need to get intimidated. Let's see if we can. CarPlay upgrade guys.
So as usual, thanks for tuning in. For more questions, uh, please feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much.